Hey guys, I'm Scott Ward. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Next in Nashville with the band Delta Ray. Hi. I'm outnumbered here <laughs> and I have such limited memory. We're going to do a roll call. We're going to start with Liz. I remember and, and then let's go around the room. So. Hi, I'm Liz. I sing. I'm Ian. What I'm, do you do, Ian? Stop. Play oh. guitar and sing. Okay. All right. Uh, my name is Eric and I play guitar, piano, and I also sing. And I'm Brittany and I sing. Such a cool band. Um, they are new to you, but you guys are not new to the music business. This is not your first time around. Yeah, no, we've been no. we've been kicking it uh, around for a number of years now. But we've we I think have had a recent. This is a, feels like a homecoming. I, when we started the band, we started in North Carolina. We yeah. all lived together, okay. uh, the three siblings. That was kind of an interesting decision. Uh, but we all lived together, and the sound that we were creating was was. It was country, kind of at its core, mm -hmm. and we were inspired by the place where we lived and kind of the stories and family uh, history that we had in North Carolina. <clears throat> so, uh, but we took a roundabout way to come back to country. So it feels great to be to be back in this genre. It, it really is. It's such a, I don't want to get into music critic cliches, but just such an earthy kind of rootsy. Oh, kind thank of you. To yes. Thank you. It really is. I don't know. There's something really special about. Uh, the sound. It, it's like it's its very current, but you got a throwback kind of feel. Well, that's very kind. We, we were inspired by a lot of bands that, um, that our parents' record collection introduced us to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. North Carolina, too. There's, there's such a... We, we don't think about it. We think about here in California, well, you've got L.A. and New York and Nashville mm -hmm. and maybe a few other spots, but North Carolina has a very rich musical heritage, too. It absolutely does. And it has a really vibrant current scene. So we've got a lot of, I mean, we found our drummer and our bass player who have been playing together in bands in North Carolina for years. And, and uh, you'll forgive me because I don't know what to do right now. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me <laughs> lean in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's got a really um, rich scene and rich history and also just as a place, it's very inspirational like, now, to us. Yeah, well help me out here because I'm completely isolated here on the West Coast and I'm ignorant. I've never been to North Carolina. I think... <sighs> Barbecue, basketball, and the Wright brothers. Okay, so those are three, okay. three big ones. What, but what else am I missing? What, I think that's what, it. Show we? <laughs> <laughs> well, they, it was really funny. We had like these managers that were scouting us very early in the band's days, and we had them come down and see a show in Raleigh. And our drummer got asked, "Okay, so what should we do in Raleigh?" And he was like, "Well." got a pretty good craft brew scene hey. and some museums. I'm in. And having lived there for the last four or five years, I'd say that's a pretty accurate summation. It's a great place to live, but there's... But, but also, I mean, the whole, the state as a whole reminds me a little bit of California in that we've got the beach and the beaches are amazing mm -hmm. and we've got the mountains and they're not too far apart. Yeah, well, that's true. You know, they're kind of far apart, but uh, you get it all in one place. We live right in between the two, so it's like a three hour drive to either and it's pretty awesome. Basketball team. Which one, is there a band favorite, or is this a, a source of fighting in March? Uh, Ian and I went to Duke, so uh, we are we bleed uh, Duke blue. Blue, yeah. Yeah, but we have to be specific about the kind uh, of the shade. It's not Carolina yeah. blue. Uh, but, yeah. but, but then our bass player went to UNC Wilmington, so he's, wow. a, he's a UNC fan. Have you ever seen him actually come to blows about basketball? Oh, we've come close. Yeah, but luckily Ian and I are on the same team in that one, so we don't have to. We actually we had a get together at my house, I think last year, and they Duke didn't win, oh. and it was really tough. Ian got up and stormed out of my house, like didn't say goodbye to anyone, just was in such oh, a man. bad place that well, he just uh, had to go. To be fair, I I, like, I, I I left before the end of the game because I could see where it was going, okay. and uh, I spared everybody uh, a worse <laughs> exit um, later in the night if I'd stayed. So. I'm neutral. That's why I had to get together at my house. She's Switzerland. Mm -hmm. she, she's neutral, but her uh, boyfriend was rooting for Portland, which is the oh. team he lost to, so it was kind wow. of... You know, it was fraught. Yeah, it was a little wow. fraught. March must be pretty interesting with Delta Ray. Uh, <laughs> love what I've heard from you guys so far. Love the next single. Now, am I getting the title right? No Peace and Quiet? Nailed yes, it. Exactly. Yes. Okay. What a beautiful song. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. That... This guy wrote that. Yeah, I, uh, I don't sing it, and there's a reason for that. It's funny because I wrote it... Um, I was thinking about this today. I was living in Raleigh. I actually just moved to Nashville. Um, and it's one of the first songs I wrote when I moved to Nashville because part of the move was that I broke up with a girl to, mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I tried to sing it initially, but I couldn't get through the song. Oh, so yeah. Liz sings it now, um, <laughs> it and is. I support her. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, we, it we love it. Sings it well. So that yeah, she does. She does a beautiful job. I I do have to say it. I mean, it is it is tough, and I think that uh, people deal with so many different types of loss. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. when when we were recording it in the studio, I actually did have a tough time, yeah. and I, I had to mm -hmm. kind of leave and collect myself for a few minutes. I mean, this song, the emotion in it could apply to somebody who broke up or someone who just buried somebody. Exactly. Yes. You know? Right. Yeah. Um, and. I was going to ask something else about this, but oh, okay, I remembered. Have you ever actually, sorry, it's a train of thought, kids, if you're not there. <laughs> um, have you ever actually looked out and seen someone in the audience in tears when you're doing uh, that? Every show. Wow. Is that right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's sometimes you can't look out because it'll just make you <laughs> want to start crying. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that that's, we try to write about things that are really meaningful to us. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And when that resonates with an audience, uh, it's, it can be really, I mean, powerful and meaningful and it's kind of it's the reason we do it so. and it's such a feedback loop you know yeah. when you're live when that's what makes live performance so beautiful is you are sharing a moment with people that is the power of music and delta ray is very powerful so look for all of the links in the down bar right here on this page get to know delta ray and listen to k-frog next we always feature great bands like Delta Ray and all of the best new country. Guys, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thanks, see you again right here for another episode of Next in Nashville.